Yo!
Hey! An Inaba Credit Union ATM to the north of town was destroyed today by an earth mover, and all cash inside was stolen. The vehicle, which was abandoned at the scene, had been reported stolen by a local contractor. Since the culprit was able to act quickly before the security guards arrived on the scene, the police have... Ugh, that's late. Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. He said to give you the phone. He can't take those days off. Hello? Sorry, but I'm gonna be late tonight. Make sure you lock up before you go to sleep. And about that time off on the 4th and the 5th, one of the younger guys got sick. And, well, that case he's handling, we can't just let it sit. Looks like I'm the only one who can take over for him.
sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden. Um, how's Nanako holding up? Would you mind comforting her for me? Thanks. All right, then. See ya. Oh cool, you're home. Hey, if you're free today, want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. How about you, Nanako-chan? Want to come? Um... Huh? I... I can come? Of course you can! Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? Where else is there to go? I love Juness. Nanako-chan! But we were supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. We were going to make boxed lunches. Wow! You can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. Big bro. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh, never mind. I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. If you'd asked, I would've whipped up some boxed lunches. Easy as pie, yeah. Uh, let me think about, no. What makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves. My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. <laughs> I can understand that. What the? Yukiko! Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. Hey, Yosuke! I see. Um... Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. And now I have a brother, too. And I'm having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. Yeah? That's good. We'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. Yeah, we should hang out more often. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. Okay. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. That's it. I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too.
Do you want something too? Share some takoyaki?
Yo! See you later. <sighs> hey, you... You can have this. Night. <laughs> huh? Hey, 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 hey!
The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day, so I brought you a present. <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? Wow, there's a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Don't mention it. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Okay. Yo! Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. Yeah! You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind, you know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh well, until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk.
up? Why do the holidays have to end so fast? At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder. Will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Ugh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke! Why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right! Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Uh, private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry, you were talking about studying. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. W what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh, I should start heading home.
Welcome back. Hey. Hey, Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. 
It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Ah! <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! Oh. Huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Hmm. Uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Goodbye! Wait! What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko, can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girl's room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about? Huh, it's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now? Thanks. I'm glad you're here. <sighs> why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Fun of me? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! <laughs>